After 15 years, Mike Tyson is stepping back in the ring to fight Roy Jones Jr. And guess what? He's joining us now uh, from uh, his home. Say hi to Mike Tyson. Hi, Mike. How you doing? Good, good, good. I'm doing well. It's very good to see you. Now, you're fighting uh, the Saturday after next. The last time you had a professional fight was in 2005. Bush was president in 2005. Yeah. And after that fight, you said, I'm not interested in fighting anymore. I hate it. I, I think you said, I don't like the smell of the gym. I don't want yeah. any of it. What happened, Mike? Well, well, listen, Jimmy, you have to understand, right? Even though I'm, I haven't been fighting, I'm champ of many, many countries. I'm champ of countries that don't even speak my language. And um, <laughs> these guys wanted to see me again. So you're you know? doing this for the world. Absolutely. They want to see me do this again. And then, of course, I know there's people that are jealous. And I understand jealousy is cool. I like jealousy. It's very inspirational. Okay. So I'm doing a lot of inspiration for people that are you, jealous. You are fighting for the world and to, and to stop the haters, is what you're saying. Well, I love the haters. They inspire me. Oh, all right. <laughs> So Mike, without I'm, haters, I'm nothing. Without haters, I'm nothing. I'm garbage. I'm nothing without haters. <laughs> That's what motivates you. Roy Jones Jr., he just retired a couple of years ago, but you are the favorite. Uh, have you been looking at the odds, the gambling odds? Well, I I, 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 I humbly say um, I don't look at odds of favor. I make my 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 reality happen when right. I'm in the ring. You don't even wear socks most of the time. No, well, um, I won't need any socks. Yeah, you don't need socks. <laughs> that should be the name of this fight. I don't need socks fight. <laughs> the, name of the, the name of the fight should be beauty. Because check this out. I'm beautiful, baby. Look, look at me now. Look wow. At me. Look at this body, oh baby. My look at oh this my. body, baby. Ah, wow. You, you do look beautiful. Have you, been hey. ab have you been abstaining from everything? Hey, listen, um... Maybe not, no. <laughs> That's for young people to do that. Uh -huh. I already have my installed discipline. <laughs> Speaking of young people, I want to ask you this, because I know you are a boxing historian and a, a student. I know a few things, Jimmy. I know a few things. Yes. If 20-year-old Mike Tyson fought 54-year-old Mike Tyson, what would the outcome be? How many rounds? What happens? That would be a pretty interesting fight. But I'm telling you, man, that young guy, he, he's going to run into something. Like he's what? Got, yeah, he's a little reckless, the young guy. OK. I think, think he's got a hard punch and he could take a, a real good shot. I don't know if he could take one of my shots. Uh, well, we're going to find Well, I guess we'll never find out. No. Um, <laughs> Mike, this fight's a little different. You're, you're eight two-minute rounds, which is shorter than usual three. And no fans will be in attendance. Does that make it less fun? Well, I've knocked people out less than eight seconds, and the fans didn't have a chance to see that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Sometimes you knock guys out on your way into the ring, it seemed like. Yeah, that means that's called lawsuits. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be wearing a mask during this fight? Well, I'm sure my p opponent will be wearing one after. <laughs> <laughs> An oxygen mask, perhaps? Some of the proceeds for this are going to charity. You're guaranteed $10 million. Hey, I don't know nothing about money. You had to talk I to do. my wife about this. I don't want no money. Take that money that belongs to them. They, you know, listen, I, this is not my life no more. I'm here, I'm here to try to make things happen, make this a better place, man. I, I want to die with a good conscience, man. You know, I, I know a lot of people might kind of scoff at that and roll their eyes, but I know this to be true about you because I remember many years ago, I had some idea that could have made you a lot of money, and you're like, uh, when I have a lot of money, bad things happen. I'm going to pass on that. Yeah, that, did, that, that was really tricky back then. Yeah. yeah. I, Time back then. Yeah. Will you start buying tigers again or anything like that? No, no, I'm not interested, but I'm interested in this dog and a couple of horses that I saw. Okay, all right. A dog and horses. That's good. It's, it's safe. <laughs> and is this a one time thing, uh, this fight? Uh, or will this, is this like going to be like a senior tour? Well, you tell me after you witness it. Okay, all right. Because I have an idea. I would like to see you fight legends from other sports. Like, I'd love to see you fight Pete Rose, for instance. I'm very good friends with Mr. Rose. That's not gonna ever happen. Okay, well, maybe you could fight Bjorn Borg. Do you know him? 
That would be a good fight. That would be a good one. All right. <laughs> I, like, I like to participate now. <laughs> Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. Saturday, November 28th, Staples Center, 9 o'clock Eastern. Watch the fight on pay-per-view and streaming at TysonOnTriller.com. Thank you, Mike. Good luck. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Thank Great you so much. Great to see you. Break a leg, but I mean that figuratively, okay? Hey, no, I'll break some jaws. All right, pal. Take care. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.